I'm Cassandra Bruni, and this is Brockton. This is Brockton, a new series brought to you by our Brockton volunteers and the BCA staff. Now let's dive right in. The first story is covering Quench Juice Cafe located on Oak Street in Brockton, covered by our Brockton volunteer, Sarah Idu. Quench is a natural, all fresh, all the time juice bar, raw juice, raw smoothies. Um, we also have acai bowls made either, you can create your own, we have our um, each individualized recipes for as far as bowls, smoothies, and um, ju the juices go. But also customers are welcome to create their own. Um, a lot of people come in for like health reasons. They're having specific health issues and they want to cater it to that. So we have that option for, you know, things like that um, where it can cater to exactly what it is that they, you know, need. Well, I grew up in Brockton for one. Um, and if you're from the area, you'll notice that on every corner, literally, there's Dunkin' Donuts, there's pizza shops, there's um, McDonald's, Taco Bell, all the things that aren't doing anything good to your body. So opening Quench was a no-brainer. It's like, it's almost non-existent. I know they have um, other smoothie-type um, places in Brockton, but nothing like this, where it's all natural, fresh made, um, and like I said, catering more to a healthier body, healthier mind, and things of that nature. So I was just like, this is, Brockton needs this. Yeah, so with the raw juices, the lifeblood is very popular. My favorite is Jungle and the Alive. Um, they have ginger, I think that's why a lot of people like them. Um, as far as the smoothies go, Superman, Tropical Infusion are some of the popular ones. Um, and the Acai Bowl City of Champions is a hit. We opened June 28th, so we've been here about three months now. Yeah, it's been good, a good three months. Um, we were getting a lot of rev like um, social media coverage, but once the newspaper article came out in the Enterprise, it was like, oh my goodness, we had no idea. Because I'm thinking this is a central location, you know, it's a busy street, Oak Street is a, is a busy place. But a lot of people still didn't really know about us. So once the newspaper article came out, it, it picked up a lot. It's not gonna just be the juices, the smoothies, and the bowls. We're gonna have like a grab and go station with, um, you know, beverages, kombucha, um, salads. Um, uh, what's that called? The overnight oats. We're gonna have fruit bowls. Like a lot of more options for people to come and grab and go who don't have time necessarily to wait because everything's made natural, you know, fresh, made to order. So takes a little bit more time as your average fast food place. So we do want to cater to people that are on the go. Even though you can call in your order in advance, um, we want to cater to people who maybe are driving by and see us and want to grab something and go. So we'll have those types of things available too. Yeah. So we're open Monday through Sunday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. And then on Sundays we're open 9 to 4. Ingrid Isaac, a Brockton volunteer, set out on a mission to highlight the needs of the homeless community. Now let's dive in to see what Ingrid discovered. Hi, my name is Shorty. I'm part of the community of Brockton. Um, I once was homeless, so <clears throat> I still hang out with my homeless people. I'm also an addict. But right now, everybody is just like down, who has no support with, with no resources, no places to go, no food, no clothes. Just um, families, family today doesn't really support us anymore. So we just want some help as possible, soon as possible. We, we will be grateful for it. And um, I hope one day that this whole, this whole thing will be over with. Ingrid met up with Mr. Wilfredo and he shared his story. And how long you been homeless? Well, since seven years. Seven years? Yeah. Wow, so it hasn't been easy. You know, I need a way. So what, what help would you like if anyone who is looking at this can reach out to help you? In what way? What would you like? They like to be, you know, to find a job, good job. 
I pay my rent. But the house in the front two more line, you know, see, I found the job after, you know, I pay my rent. Okay. You know, I switch, you know, I want to live in Mobera. I live at 8 o'clock every day. You have to leave at 8 o'clock. And what do you normally do? Me? Yeah, for the day. I go to the, the, my friend garage, he help you in, make mm -hmm. a couple of bucks, you know. Oh, okay. So uh, I need the money for pay my storage, you know. Oh, you have a storage. Yeah. And I hope that um, you get the help and it wouldn't be seven, seven years, not even seven weeks. Let's hope for something, a turnaround. Okay. okay? Thank Thanks. You. Thanks for speaking Thank to me. Bye-bye. If you'd like to give support, please contact the number on the screen now. This is Brockton is brought to you by volunteers in our community. If you would like to contribute, please contact BCA at 508-580-2228 or on our website, bcatv.org. Hi, Mom, heading out. Later, Gator. Drive safe. I will. And don't forget to call me when you get there. I know. And don't forget to put your phone away. Already did. And you drive safe too, mister. Home fire drills give your family a plan of action. In a home fire, you may have less than two minutes to get out. So when you drill, show everyone two ways out of the house, pick a safe meeting spot, and get there in under two minutes. Then practice home fire drills at least twice a year. You can even make them fun. So everyone knows the sound and exactly what to do when they hear a smoke alarm. Go to ready.gov slash fire drill and learn how to prepare your family for home fires. I'm Emma Reardon, a production genius at BCA, and our next story is by a volunteer, Elsa Suxo, talking about Domestic Violence Month. Domestic violence does not discriminate gender or age. In fact, in the United States, 25% of women and 10% of men experience intimacy partner violence in their lifetime. Globally, even before COVID started, one in three women experienced physical and sexual abuse done by their partner. During COVID, it increased by 8% due to quarantine. In our town of Brockton, we have services like family and community resources to provide a welcoming, enclosed, and safe environment for all survivors of trauma. Understand, just because there's no physical abuse, men and women can experience emotional abuse and be equally as harmful to their partner. Here are some signs of emotional abuse. Call you names or yell at you, shame you, blame you, and constantly criticize you. They damage the relationship around you, they threaten to hurt you, and they could hurt your pets, children, or property. FCR has many services for women and men to seek help, including video services, safety planning, safe home, case management, and different types of individual or group meetings. They also have a 24-hour hotline at 508-583-6498. Please check out their website for upcoming events. Here's some signs a person you know is maybe being abused. Excuses of injury personality change, constantly checking in with their partner, never having money at hand, skipping family outings for no reason, and or wearing inappropriate clothes for the right weather.
If you need more information or support with this issue, please call National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE. Feel free to check the website, thehotline.org. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Come join Family Community Resources and Mayor Robert Sullivan for their 2021 Walk for Survivors Safety. It will be a two-mile walk at DW Field in Brockton this Saturday on October 2nd, 2021 from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Please remember registration is at 9.30 a.m. We encourage you to register and come join us for this amazing cause. Children are more than welcome to come. Please stay for the rest of the fun activities. They will have carnival games, raffles, face painting, arts and crafts, and a delicious barbecue for everyone. Join us, we'll have an awesome time in an amazing event. I'm Elsa Suxo from BCA. Hope to see the community support this wonderful cause. For more information, contact the number on the screen. We all know that Brockton is the city of champions, and nature is part of our community as well. Here's volunteers Nolan and Vanessa with this update. As a nice summer season comes to an end, nature begins to close shop for the winter. The leaves begin their transformation and birds start to make their way south. Yet even among these moments, nature has one more surprise for us. It's finally October and some very patient animals have been waiting all summer to emerge. Turtle eggs late in June are finally hatching and inside are these little guys, common snapping turtles. They're one of 10 species of turtle in Massachusetts and these guys can be found right here in Brockton. Five months ago, I ran into a big mother common snapping turtle and she was on her way to lay eggs, but she wasn't exactly thrilled to see me. I'm sure you can tell why this is called a snapping turtle. These guys are mean, oh, not as bad as the alligator snapping turtle from the south but still not something you wanna mess with. And I don't blame her for it. It can take turtles up to 20 years to mature enough to be able to lay eggs. So that means when they're traveling either to their nest or from their nest, it's a very dangerous experience. Everything from skunks, foxes, raccoons can all make a meal out of little guys like this. And sometimes even the big ones. However, the most dangerous threat to turtles are roads. When they're traveling, Cars aren't exactly moving at a turtle speed, and turtles aren't moving at a car speed. So, you can guess what usually happens. One collision could do a ridiculous amount of damage to a population. It would take 20 years to recover, and sometimes they don't. So this season, when you're driving in Brockton, be sure to look and break for turtles, both big and small. Thank you for tuning in and tune in next time for an episode of This is Brockton from Emma, myself, and the whole BCA team. Have a good night.